Hey guys, I am at the Milwaukee Pipeline event. I am with Yoshi and we are looking at the one ton uh, hoist. What are you calling it? Chain hoist. One Chain one, hoist. Yep. Um, I'm a little nervous that we're, we're <laughs> using one ton with a battery, but yep. would, you, would you walk me through this? And yeah, absolutely. So this is our compact one ton chain hoist. So when we were investigating this space, there was a lot of innovation to be made. It's a legacy category, okay. right? And so when we were looking at it, we wanted to understand what those biggest frustrations were. The biggest one that we were finding was mobility, right? Right, right behind you is our electric chain hoist that we use today. Oh, yeah. That can weigh up to 150 pounds. Okay. And so rigging of the chain hoist was a huge frustration because not only does it take them forever to hang it in the air, yep. but also you got to string the cord, right? Okay. This is only 48 pounds. So we took out, we're about a third of the weight of the electric solution. When we were taking this out in the field initially during early research and development, the number one question we got was, what do I do when the battery dies and it's in the air, right? Right. you're thinking you're right. lifting all this weight up into what the air. What do you do? Yeah. So uh, on electric chain hoist or a regular chain hoist today, the rigid hook is typically in the air, right? right? So your hoist body is in the air. We designed this chain hoist so that it moves with your material. And then we also equipped it with a battery light indicator on the remote that'll notify you when you have 25% charge or less. I'm going to guess that if it, the battery, before the battery runs out, does it just lower itself? So or something, or? it'll tell you when to lower it, yeah. and then you lower the load, and you can swap it out from the ground instead of being up in the on air. A ladder. Yes, exactly. So that was a huge user frustration that we found early on. But then we found by doing that and branding it this way, it created a lot of uh, relief in the strain of a chain hoist as well. Oh, yeah. So we paired it with our remote that has up to 60 feet of range, so you can step away from the load as you're doing the lift. And then we also equipped it with micro movement. So it can move as little as a quarter of an inch to make sure that you hit your mark every single time. How much length do you get of chain? Yeah, absolutely. 20 feet. 20 feet, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, and, and how, then, go ahead. How much weight do we have on here, about 300? Yeah. Some yep, pounds? 370 about. 70-ish? Yep. Um, wow. Yeah, so one ton, one metric ton, 2,200 pounds capacity, um, and uh, a lot of innovation within the mobility around the site as well. It comes kitted with our pack out rolling toolbox. So a lot of the feedback we were getting earlier on is, hey, just roll your cart right underneath it, okay. and you can drop your hoist in, and you're on to your next location. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. It goes right into the, you can lower it into the box if exactly, you want. Exactly, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and and when does this come out? Is this it, launches next week. Next week? Yes. Exciting. And how much? So it will start at about $39.99 or $3,999, yep. but depending on your distributor, could range. Okay, and the battery is on the back here, right? Yep. Here? So the battery compartment? Yep, and when you take out the pack, your load will hold. Another frequent question that we oh, get. Nice. So, so you can swap it out. Or whatever. Exactly, yeah. and then this will come um, with your 20-foot chain, chain bag, two M18 12-volt batteries, remote M18 rapid charger, and then your pack-out cart. So uh, you may or may not know the answer to this question. Yeah. I guess it'd be a runtime question. Yes. How many times could it lift uh, one ton yeah, absolutely. up and down? Yeah, so uh, on your M18 12 volt battery, yeah. up and down 20 feet, full one metric ton, it'll do about five lifts, so up and down. And then the most frequent lifting that we see with this guy is about 500 to 800 pounds, okay. and you can get up to 18 full lifts and lowers. What are you seeing for an application for this? Are they lifting motors? What are they lifting? Kind of a little range of everything, right? right. So they could be installing ducts and connecting that together. Same thing with pipe work. They could be installing staircases and making sure they're level. Oh, okay. And then same with your motors, so escalators. We even sometimes see users uh, using it in elevator shafts to move material through the building. Interesting. Yeah. Josie, thank you so much. Thank you so really much. Really interesting. Yeah, Appreciate I'm happy it. to say that. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.